Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we are making this cool project that's called face mask detections. And as you can see, this is the landmark of the face, and also it will detect my face as a mesh format. So if I put my hand on my face, it will detect the another person. Hey man, come on. So as you can see, okay, there's cut. As you can see, if I put my hand, so okay, and it will detect his face. So if he put his face, that is put his hand on his page, so it will detect my face. Put man. Okay, so as you can see, detect my face. That's mean it's detect only single number of face. As you can see here, it's detect two number of faces. But in first, it's detect only single number of faces. That's mean you can see here it detect my face and also my uncle faces. So that's mean we can change the number of what do you call the number of faces to deal with the media Y. So let's get started and jump on material. So the library we are going to use called MediaPy, and this library is developed by Google. So if I go down, uh, as you can see here, it is available on Android, iOS, C++, Python, JS, and Coral. Okay, so there are so many features in this MediaPy library. So as you can see, face detection, face mask, iris, hands, foes, and holistic, and so on. Okay, so this is the official GitHub repository of this MediaPy. So if I go down. So you can see here media pipe in Python. Media pipe offers customizable Python solution as a pre-built Python package on PYPI. That means this package is available on PYPI. Okay. So you can simply install this library using this pip install command. So just you need to open your command prompt as a Windows user, just open your command prompt, Windows R, and it will open and type here pip install and the library name is media pipe. Okay, media pipe. Enter so it will install this library in your system. So as you can see here, it's called requirement already satisfied. That means this library is already installed in my system. And another library you're going to use OpenCV. So just open <laughs> again your terminal. It's already open in this case. So OpenCV and Python. So just type pip install OpenCV Python. So enter so it will install this library in your system. So now let's jump on our code. So I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. So I already created empty file in my face mash folder. So file name is main.py. So I'm going to import cb2. That's been open cb. So import cb2. So first we need to make a webcam because we are dealing with real time. So let's say video equals cb2.video capture. So inside this parameter, you need to put your uh, argument. So by default, it is zero. That's mean you are using our default webcam. So in my case, I'm using my default webcam. Uh, if you have a uh, external webcam, you can put here one. So let's put here uh, empty, empty or what you call infinite while loop. So it will hold the frame uh, in our pop-up. So rat and let's say image equal video dot read. And let's show the frame, or you can say image, cb2 dot uh, not show. It's called I am show. And now we need to put here the window name. So let's put here window name face mesh. So according to our tutorial, so let's put here image. And let's put here a white key so it will hold uh, our frame. So let's put in the variable. Let's say k equal cb2 dot what key. So if anyone press k from your keyboard, okay, in a in a in a small format, not a capital format, so it will be black. So if k equal equal ord, if anyone press q uh, inside this, so this infinite loop will be black. So finally, we need to release our brew. So release. And we need to destroy the all windows. So destroy all windows. Let's save it and run the code. So now, as you can see here, it opened my webcam. Okay, it's visible. So if I press Q, it will be gone. But if I op uh, press Q in a caps lock using caps lock, it it not work. Okay. So now we need to import the media pipe. 
So in this media pipe, we are going to detect the uh, landmark of the faces in a mesh format. So import media pipe as np. So now we need to make a solution as you can see in my media pipe how I'm discussing in the GitHub repository. You can see here, this is the Python solutions. So you need to make a solution of that. So let's put here mp.solutions. The solution of the drawing utils. So we need to first make a solution of the drawing utils. So it will help us to draw the utils. Okay. So let's put into a variable. Let's say call mp underscore drawing and also make the solution of the face match okay so solution dot so as you can see here for the hand for the face match okay holistic media pipe objects pose so all the thing are appear here so we're dealing with the face match so let's put into a variable uh, also so let's say mp face match okay so now what you need to do we need to load our model okay so we are going to load the model so after going to load the model so let's let's uh, let's declare the drawing space okay let's declare the drawing space then we are open the model or after mod uh, loading the model so let's load the model first so with so with mp base face dot face mesh so this is the method. So if I click control from the keyboard and hover on there and just click. So you can see here, this is a class face mesh. Okay. So this is the face mesh. So if I go down, this is the face mesh is a class and it's take a solution base. Okay. So this is the init function. So it will take argument for cell static image mode equal right now is false you can deal with real time and also in the images and you can see here max number of the faces is right now one that's mean in default you can detect only one number of faces as you can see my demo video it's first detect the single number of faces and it's detect the multiple number of faces that's mean we can change the number as well as so right now is one as it is but when i run this code i will change this uh, number and show the output okay so I go here and it will take the parameter. So let's copy this one. Face detection confidence. That's mean if the confidence is 50% up, it will detect the face mesh. Okay. So as face mesh. So also copy this out, control C and put into in the up and let's put into this portion okay so now we are going to load load the model the face mesh so now what into do we need to convert this frame into rgb okay so let's say image because this face mesh model work on rgb images so cb2 dot cbt color and inside this parameter you need to put here the image name image cb2 dot color color bgr to rgb you know opencv read the images or read the frame into a bgr format so now we need to convert this frame into rgb format so now so now we need to uh, uh, make the writable as a false why to improving the accuracy of the model so image dot flex dot writable equal false and now we need to process our image what do you call we need to process our image so image dot not image face mesh dot process inside this parameter it take the argument of image so let's put in the variable called result and i'm going to print this result so let's say print this results okay let's save it and run the code so as you can see here it's read the read my image into rgb format not bgr that's mean it read the image in a bgr format it is converted this image into rgb okay so as you can see it's class of media pipe python solution based solution output that's mean 
our model is loading that's mean it's training the model if before and it will process in the images now we are going to make the writable as true Control c again and past it let's come it is out and let's make it true and also convert our rgb frame into bgr frame as you can see in the color rgb to bgr so if i run the code again run code so you can see here as well as same is the color format rgb format not rgb bgr format okay uh, let's put it q so it will gone so now we need to detect the phase mesh so it should be multiple number of if, if there are the multiple number of phases that mean the uh, multi-phase landmarks that's mean there are multi uh, phase landmark uh, if you see in my demo video there are some landmark that's mean multiple number of landmark and after uh, joining the circle it will what do you call it, it will call, called make a mesh that's mean there are so many circle uh, and it will joining each other and make a face mesh so now we need to <coughs> use this so results dot multi face landmarks okay so if result dot face multi face landmark so you are going to iterate all the face to mark okay inside this face land mark in result dot multi face landmarks okay so for we are going to iterate all the multi face landmark from these results okay from these results so now we need to drawing it okay so you need to drawing it so after drawing it we need to show the landmark so np np drawing so that's mean this one is the mp drawing this drawing utils we're going to use this mp drawing dot draw landmarks okay draw landmarks and it will take some argument again click here so as you can see it's take the argument of image landmark list connections landmark drawing space connection drawing space i am going to copy all this Control c and paste it here and i am going to remove this and image is images and the landmark list we are going to put here this landmarks okay i'm going to copy this one Control c and remove this and paste it okay so let's make it format and as you can see connections for this one is a tuple okay so if i go here and you can see here connection is a list this one is a tuples okay so the tuples you're going to use this one is the connection for the face connections okay equal and p face mesh dot face connections that's mean we are going to connect all the connection okay so go and make it format and for the landmark drawing space this will take a drawing space but we don't declare it yet okay so we need to declare it before go here and let's declare it so let's say drawing pc equal mp drawing dot drawing space so if i again control and go here it will take the color so by default the color is green okay you can change the color so as you can see in my demo video the color is green okay we can change the color of here okay if i go here and the argument put his argument so the argument should be the color the thickness and the circle radius so i am going to copy this one also copy this one and let's put the thickness as one and the radius let's put it here again one and now go back okay go down and spacing we are going to use 
this drawing space okay this drawing space i'm going to remove this and let's put here drawing drawing space space okay and for the connection uh, for the connection you are also going to use this drawing space let's make it format drawing space okay so our code is done okay if i going to save it and run the code okay circle radius equal to one it's false okay i think we need to put here the comma comma and i think all are okay save it and run the code again again the np drawing images okay i think Need to put the image this images run the code yep it opening my webcam as you can see here it detect my face so you can see here this is the green uh, green uh, color so if I change the color and to go the go here drawing a space again control and go here and uh, let's put it here 255 okay then open and again save it and on the coach so you can see here it will change the color it is a uh, not so good not so bad <laughs> okay this is the color so we change the number of the person number of the faces right now it have one faces so if i change the number of the faces so if i go down and this one face mesh control and uh, change the number of the faces let's put it here too you can uh, put it here whatever you can so let's put into here a picture so I'm going to open my mobile run the code so you can see you detect my face and also this one face of the Elon Musk for the okay yeah it detected okay so you detect two number of faces you can detect the multiple number of faces whatever you can the frame is covered okay and you can see yep it detects successfully two faces okay so you can change the number of the faces as you can see so if i go and see the picture of the shundur pichai maybe the ceo of the google yep it's detect successfully so this is the tutorial hope you will enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update as you can see uh, in, uh, in in this pandemic situation is increases again the COVID situation is not so good in my country and I also make a project that is how can you detect the face mask reduction using Python and the link will be in the app okay you can see here so make sure that to check it this video and thank you so much and bye bye.